spin it. What? Do you reckon like that? Good morning guys, welcome back to Gaskings. Today I am back once again at Night Racer. I kind of, kind of feel like a little bit of a second home here. You've been before, you came with me to get my first modification, wasn't it? The, yeah, the bonnet. The Night Racer bonnet. That was all nice and covered. Today, I've teamed up with Fire Exhaust. They have shipped me down one of the most shiniest, chromiest, hopefully loudest exhaust that you can put on a GTR. So it's in there. I haven't seen it yet. Do you want to have a look? Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. Wow. You are beautiful. I'm talking about the exhaust. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that is nice. Is that one of the most nicest exhausts you've ever seen? It is very nice, yeah. Yeah, very well made. That should open up and uh, close down. Shall we have a listen? How many people do you actually reckon thought <laughs> they'd hear it in? <laughs> no, it's connected, yeah. <laughs> Look at Mr. Muscles. Look, he's got the biggest part. There he is, Dan, the co-presenter. <laughs> so they're, they're carrying everything in now to get it onto the GTR. And I've got to obviously help them. Like, God, yeah, let's take this in. Right, uh, what do you think? No exhaust going on? Yeah, it's... Could be a little <laughs> bit more chromey, but... Yeah, it'll do. <laughs> it's a function over... <laughs> over... over aesthetics. <laughs> oh, the exciting bit, Lucille is going up. Still going up. Hello, from White Pipe Off. Yeah. Uh, rear section off, which means I've seen this tray off. Yeah. Slide that out, slide the tips up. Okay. Nice. So we have the fire exhaust all ready to go on. Um, what we also have is um, a couple of apprentices that I like to train. And then what you also need to do is uh, employ a beefcake to hold the, uh, the exhaust in place. Yes, look at it. One last screw then and then the whole thing should come out. And also, because you're wearing your best shirt, do not let any grease get on that thing. I won't, I won't. And that's it. Bin it. Don't need it. So the old exhaust is now off and look how crap it looks. And look how shiny and new this one looks. Any on the Schwarzenegger impressions? <laughs> <laughs> is that all he does? I was expecting something like, I'll be back or... <laughs> That's it mate, if you just line these two bits up here and then they put bolt in. My <laughs> Do you want to pass me the welding gun? <laughs> that's, that's product placement right there. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> we sure we're going with the small tips? <laughs> Ellie just asked, you know, what these bits are. I said, you know, when it's cold and the car's going long, obviously with all the wind and stuff, it does get quite chilly. So, uh, like you put on your legs, leg warmers keeps these pipes warm. Stop rubbing your hands on the underneath my car to make it look like you've been busy. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Dan. You would have seen him on my other video. What video was that? That was a 650 video. I think you've got a lot of ladies, uh, a lot of lady fans since that video. And a lot of haters. My mum likes you. <laughs> my sister likes you. And they've, they have said next time I'm here, can you show them all your tips? My tips. You, show them your tip. There they are. They look good, don't they? They're bigger in real life, though. Yeah, they, they do, do look bigger in real life. That's oh, nice, isn't it? Bit of a trumpet. <laughs> First world issues, guys, is uh, where do we put the trumpets? Do we put them in? Or do we put them out a little bit? In, out, in, out. Shut up. The whole idea is we got, this one can't go back any further, but this one has movability, so you can kind of come out. Or in, what, what do you reckon like that? That looks good, that. That looks, really, that looks really good. Like that? <laughs> that looks pretty sick. Oh, we can even turn them. I think that's in there. <laughs> that doesn't look too bad, does it? So what we've just noticed is that they're actually turned sideways on the original exhaust. And then obviously we're putting them on, as most people do, with them like that. So do we go like originals and turn them sideways like that? Or do we go like everyone else does when we put new exhausts on like that? Decisions, decisions. Oh, and I feel really bad. I feel like you're just sat down there by yourself doing the wiring room. So I'm like, come and sit with you. <laughs> what have we got? Uh, loads of wires and Danny Wellington. 
<laughs> Do you want me to help you? Should we read yeah. the instructions yeah, like no bloke five, ever does? <laughs> key, I do like that key, that looks really nice. Uh, a massive dump valve. Butt plug. Some butt plugs. <laughs> Some uh, kinky wires. Controller to make the valves open and close. And of course the key. That actually holds the air, I take it, to open the valves. Oh, it's going down, look at the tips. They are looking pretty sick. So the tips are now sorted and it is looking pretty fresh. I do like the look that it's given with the tips kind of poking out the side. There we go. So all that's left to do is the wiring to get it to the front of the car so that when we press the, um, the valve control, it then opens the valve, doesn't it? Yep. There he is, Wizard of GTRs. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be loud. I can't wait to hear that. The claims. With a 650R? Yeah. Yeah. Final touches on the this. wiring loom. You want to pull it? No, pull the. Um, oh, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah yank it, yeah, Dan, yank it. The All the work has now been done. It is the first time that we're going to be able to hear the fire exhaust. I'm so excited. Are you excited? Me <laughs> He's excited. You excited? Yeah. <laughs> what are you eating, Dan? How'd you get to look like that? Just fire it up already. <laughs> That is definite. Right, so next up, with the wheels, since Dimag put them on there, they're quite concave, as you can obviously tell. They kind of hide in the arches. So what we're planning on doing is some wheel spaces, just to bring the wheels out and make them a little bit more flush. Put them on the front. Put them on the rear and just give it that kind of finishing touch so it's all nice and smooth all the way down. Space is going on, so it gives it that much more uh, width for when the wheel's on there, so it should bring it nice and flush with the with the arch. Nice and light then, Dimag wheels, aren't they? Yeah. See, he knows. Just getting the official sign off. How's it looking? How's it looking? Yeah, it's looking good, mate. Make sure it's done properly, you see. Yeah. Tell me when you finish, just so I can show everyone that you do actually work here. Yeah, I'm doing it now. Yeah, done. Now, done. Man. Another space is going on, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Precision. Wheels are now on. That looks so much better. Look how flush it is now with the arch. Start up again, are we? <laughs> that is so much better. That sounds amazing. What do you think of that? That sounds sick, doesn't it? You know, that sounds so much better than I actually thought it would sound like. That sounds so good. That obviously the high note as well when it gets to the end of the rev. I <laughs> could you do it a mile off? Right, so because of uh, fire exhaust, we've now got it on Lucille. Only right we actually christen the, uh, the wing and stick the brand on there, yeah? That's what we do. Dimag's on there already. Dub Customs, APR Performance. Night Racer, quite a place, yeah. yeah. Right, let's get it on. Ooh, where's it gonna go? Where'd you reckon? There? This is where I put it on and realised it's just wonky. Yeah? What do you think? Smart, yeah, smart. <laughs> that is, a, I think that's, they said 10 brake horsepower of each sticker. Plus, 15, yeah. 15 I think. So put two of these on, it's 20 brake, including the exhaust. Oh, and as we're waiting for Lucille to be done, look what's coming in. Yes. There was something special here, isn't there? Uh, yeah. So you've got that there. GTR everywhere. Got another GTR behind. Wizard of GTRs is my dub to you. And the quad bike. What I'll do now is cut back to last time I was at um, Night Racer when we did the 650R mod. And you'd be able to hear obviously the revving and the pops and bangs beforehand. So then we can do like a before and afterwards. And then what I'll do is show you the valves close and then the valves open so you can get to hear the fire exhaust in all of its glory. So let's go do that. Let's cut back to what it was like when we were here last time at Night Racer. <laughs> So we're here last time, we'll see with the pops and bangs when we've got the 650R 
Now, with the fire exhaust, I've been told it should be a lot better and spit flames a lot further. So, stand back, El, stand back. Go on in, Albert. Mate, the flames that were coming out of that were like, like a fireball. Yes. It was like a yeah, fireball. I can feel it, can feel it for a Oh my God. My ears are ringing. My face is warm. Wow. This is what it sounds like. Fire exhaust with valves closed. Here, open. <laughs> sounds awesome. It sounds so much better than I could have ever imagined it to sound like. Ah, oh, fire exhaust, you've done me well. I love that. <laughs> Officially, I am now deaf. There we go, guys. That is the fire exhaust all done and dusted, all fitted professionally, of course, only by Night Racer. Wouldn't anyone else touch the car? Um, and I'm not obviously going to touch the exhaust because they're now absolutely smoking hot. And just to show you guys as well, we've now had the spacers fitted on the Diamag wheel, so they now sit nice and flush with the arches. Because I know a lot of you guys were saying that um, when you saw obviously the Diamag wheels were fitted, you said it just kind of were in the arches a little bit. So I listened to you guys, I listened to your feedback, and now I'm hoping now the space has been done again by Night Racer that look at it just sets off now the wheels are nice and flush with the car so apart from that it's pretty much it my ears are now still ringing i am not being dramatic it feels like you know you get like a q-tip and you push it down your ear and you go a little bit too far that's the pain that i'm kind of feeling right now because that last bang that albert did thanks for that is now definitely um so yeah i'm gonna go and put some um, after sun on my face because the flames have lit <laughs> the front of my face Gonna go and try and rest my ears and uh, drive it home, probably with the valves off. I'll do another, another one for you guys so you can hear the um, fire exhaust in all of its glory. Massive thank you as well to fire exhaust and also Night Race for making this happen. Go check out fire exhaust. I highly recommend this exhaust. Um, obviously Albert, who professionally fits them all the time to GTRs, um, he said that it was um, really, really well built. Um, and also the sound that it makes. Guys, you're gonna have to hear it in the flesh. You're gonna have to come see it at a show. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, my friends, comments below, big thumbs up, subscribe, not done already, shop.gaskings.com. Bye bye! <laughs>